Guys, Captain Ibrahim Traore's enemy has finally openly confessed that he is on the right track. My name is Arkiv and all I do here is bring you updates from in and around our beautiful continent Africa. Before I get down into these details, if this is your first time coming across this page, do well to follow me because you would keep getting these amazing updates. Like the video, drop your own comments in the comment section after you watch to the end and most especially share this to as many as possible. So when you are doing something and you are convinced, convicted that what you are doing is right, never allow anybody anybody to deter you from doing what is right let's visit Burkina Faso today guys so the World Bank has openly confessed that Burkina Faso is doing well and I would read with you from this extract here so it would not look as if I created it okay so let's go down into this extract and read together and analyze this is an article published by the World Bank itself regarding Burkina Faso's economy. It says, Ouagadougou, July 10, 2025. According to the World Bank's April 2025 Burkina Faso economic update, the country's economy grew by 4.9% in 2024 compared to 3.0% in 2023. Real per capita GDP growth also increased from 0.7% to 2.5% over the same period. Let's stop here first and analyze this. So, this is a country at war. It's not just like some joke. A country that is battling with serious rebellion that is sponsored by Western powers with heavy arms that the, the, the terrorists have and all of that. This country is at war, but it was able in the past one year increase its GDP to close to 2%, from 3.0 to 4.9, almost 2% growth and a real per capita GDP growth from 0.7% to 2.5% guys this is incredible for a country that is battling with serious terrorism and they are able to get to this point that's the first point let's go to the second point on the article it says this acceleration is attributed mainly to the performance of services in agriculture supported by an improved security situation note the word improved security situation favorable weather conditions and increased government support to the agriculture sector right what interests me here is the word improved security situation these are the same organization the world bank the imf the international community which said that the situation of terrorism in Burkina Faso has terribly degraded that the situation is going from bad to worse they were the same ones who said that guys let's not forget they were the same people who blackmailed using the their Western media right the CNN the BBC the France 24 the RFE all these media every day they would say that the terrorism situation in Burkina Faso is going worse and that the military leader is busy finding ways to stay in power and he is not doing anything about their security situations. And most of those countries which are related to these institutions, World Bank, the IMF and all of that, they even declared Burkina Faso and the Sahel as a red zone, a dangerous zone, advising their citizens not to visit these countries. But today, in their own report, what are they saying? That the security situation in Burkina Faso and virtually the Sahel has improved. Are you seeing their hypocrisy? We need to be smart, right? That is why I started this video by saying that the enemy 
Ibrahim Traoré has finally confessed. I was very conscious when I said that because truly they are enemies. They are not friends. Let's go to the other part. This part says the report also notes a decline in the twin deficit that's physical and current account in 2024. The fiscal deficit improved in 2024 from 6.5 percent to 5.6 percent of GDP thanks to better control of public spending and increased revenue mobilization. At the same time the current account deficit also improved from 8.0 percent of GDP in 2023 to 6.4 percent in 2024 due to the rise in gold prices which boosted the value of export. So here what do we note? The first thing is they talked of gold prices due to the fact that the country were able to manage their resources right and better control of public spending. These are the people who sent their general to go to the uh, U.S. Senate Committee and say that Captain Ibrahim Traoré is wasting the country's gold to, you know, using the country's gold to assert himself in power. But today in this report, what are they saying? That because the government is controlling their resources better and making sure that they generate internal funds. That brings me to, to remind some who do not know, in Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traoré had made, had come up with an initiative where the citizens every month contribute, not due to coercion as you think. If you like, you contribute. If you like, don't. They take a little amount from their salaries and drop it in the national basket to fund their developmental projects. And the captain himself started by saying, I will not receive my presidential salary. I would stay to my captain's salary. So that whatever I would have been getting from salary as a president, it should be used to develop the country. And that is what is helping the country. You guys have seen in other videos that I shared with you here, how citizens go donate cement, how people go help the, 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 the country's construction company to build the country and all of that. But these are the same people who were blackmailing him that he was wasting the country's gold to, to buy himself, you know, you know, um, a protection from Russia and all of that so he can stay in power. They are the same people who are telling us the truth. So guys, as I said, our enemies, all of them, not just the World Bank, not, all of them are going to confess that Ibrahim Traoré is the son that is shining in Africa. That is what I wanted to share with you today, guys. Let me know what you think also in the comment section. And please, thank you so much. See you in my next one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, news from Burkina Faso. I can tell you that uh, Burkina Faso is making a great economic progress, especially in agriculture, in order to achieve food self-sufficiency within a few years. The motto is let's product and consume Burkina Bay first. Farmers have uh, received um, new, uh, modern, different uh, equipment, allowing them to grow crops on a larger scale, and they are assisted by engineers even prisoners they farm to feed the prisoners Engineers have been uh, developed to grow different type of uh, crops depending on the region we are even trying to produce fruits and uh, vegetables that we thought we couldn't produce in our country dams are being rehabilitated to allow year-round culture the farmers are uh, receiving uh, some products uh, for free and others uh, on credits with a very low repayment rate. All these thanks to the leadership of uh, His Excellency, the President uh, Ibrahim Traore and the Minister of Agriculture of Burkina Faso. More videos to come about Burkina Faso, but don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss those videos and news from Burkina Faso.
thank you see you in another video to the youth of africa listen to me carefully we are standing on the edge of history and this is the moment when you must decide will you continue to wait for salvation from outside or will you rise and claim your destiny for too long we have been told that we are too weak too poor too uneducated to build our own future but i tell you today that is a lie they said africa cannot manufacture its own machines yet every year we produce millions of brilliant minds but only to serve others we train engineers yet we import even the simplest tools we have fertile lands yet we depend on others for food why because we have been programmed to doubt ourselves we have been taught to beg for aid instead of building strength we have been trapped in the illusion that without europe without america we are nothing but i see a different africa and i want you the youth to see it with me i see an africa where the sons and daughters of this continent become the inventors of tomorrow where we build satellites that orbit the earth and they are made by african hands where our doctors do not flee to foreign countries but stay to build health systems that serve our people with dignity where we are not the customers of foreign technologies but the creators of technologies that change the world but my children to get there you must understand no one will build this africa for you the liberation you want the prosperity you desire the respect you seek you must build it with your own hands and that begins with education not the kind of education that teaches you to pass exams and wear a suit but the education that teaches you to solve problems to think critically to ask what can i create what can i improve what can i build that my community needs if your education is not making you more useful to your people it is a prison not freedom and yet education alone is not enough we must also have courage courage to innovate courage to fail and try again courage to stand tall and say i will not run to europe for a better life i will build my better life here look at the world it is built by men and women no different from you they are not gods they have no special blood they succeeded because they believed they could and because their societies invested in their talents we must do the same my vision is of an africa where every youth is a soldier not with guns but with skills with knowledge with innovation imagine an africa with its own search engines its own social media platforms its own tech giants its own pharmaceutical industries its own energy companies driven by solar and wind from the sahel to the cape this is possible but it requires discipline you cannot build the africa of tomorrow if your mind is addicted to distraction you spend hours scrolling laughing at memes watching others build while you remain spectators in the theater of global progress enough i call on you to wake up i call on you to master skills learn to code learn to design learn to farm smartly learn renewable energy learn manufacturing if you do not others will and you will remain slaves not by chains but by ignorance the western media and the western leaders are now after ibrahim taure you won't believe what ibrahim taure has just done in burkina faso ibrahim taure has banned lgbt in Burkina Faso and he has said no more growth of that group in Burkina Faso and the Western media are pissed plus they are Western leaders they are saying that Ibrahim Traore is now becoming a dictator just like the presidents of Mali and Niger Abdul Ramani Chiani and Asimi Goita. Ibrahim Taure has not responded, but you won't believe that the people in Burkina Faso are now out and they are saying that group LGBT is not an African thing and it was introduced by the Western nations. It is something that is against human nature and they don't want it in Burkina Faso and now they are behind Ibrahim Traore and they are saying he is right it must be completely finished in Burkina Faso and Ibrahim Traore has said this must also be followed in all African nations because our culture does not allow that what do you think we want to restore the dignity of the African continent and position Africa as an equal partner in the world economy and international politics we want africa to be like europe we don't want europe to treat africa like it is its own subject africa's time is now no one should continue with the exploitation of our minerals without our involvement not even china will be allowed to recolonize africa we are called economic freedom fighters because we want any foreign direct investment to come and invest in Africa through our own terms and to the benefits of the people of Africa.
It might be a dream. Some might think it's not real. But we know we're going to achieve it. For because this dream is not just a dream but a generational mission. It's a generational mission we are not prepared to sell out. We want to restore the dignity of African people. We want to ensure that African people are equal partners in trade, in politics, in every subject that the world is debating. We want to follow in the footsteps of Nelson Mandela. Because Nelson Mandela, when he left his term as a president, he said the struggle continues. He said so because he knew that political freedom without economic freedom is incomplete. People cannot eat a cross. People want to put bread on the table. So, like many African leaders, we have committed not to betray the dreams of those who came before us. Like many African leaders, we want to unite the people of Africa to have a common agenda and common purpose. We want Africa to unite and Africa to reclaim its land and its resources. The EFF speaks about expropriation of land without compensation because we know that when the land was taken in Africa was through genocide. Why would we reward genocide? We cannot reward genocide. But we want land because land guarantees us of the sovereignty of South Africa and the African continent. We cannot claim to be Africans yet we have nothing to show as a proof that indeed we are Africans. For because we do not even have title deeds to prove that we are the owners of the land. We have nothing to show. When you go into mines, it's multinational companies. When you go into banks, it's multinational companies. When you go into monopoly industries, it's multinational companies. We cannot even own and protect our own agricultural sector with our fertile land in Africa. Because Europe and the entire developed countries use Africa and South Africa as a dumping site. Every lower grade food gets to be dumped in our countries, undermining our own agriculture. When we say those things, we are called communists, we are called anarchists, we are called radicals. Because we must continue to bow before a white supremacist. We are refusing that. We are refusing to bow before imperialism and colonialism. We want the total control of our own country and our own land. In this day and era, you still have a situation where they are African state paying colonial tax to France. France, it is what it is because of those African states. You have the reserve banks of African states in France and not in Africa itself. And we must accept that and say it is acceptable, it is in the interest of Africa. It is not. We want Africans to have control over their own currency. Wants Africans to have control over their own economy and what constitutes their own economy. Those who want to invest in Africa, those who love peace and democracy, those who love the sharing of wealth amongst people, we need your support. We need you to commit that Africa should not be a playground of the rich because Africa is not a desert but a continent where human beings are found and they must be treated with respect and dignity. Thank you very much.